everyone. In this video I'd like to consider the purpose of walking a dog and think about the purpose that your walk serves and what you might do instead of walking if walking isn't an option. So walking dogs is typically a modern thing linked to the fact that our dogs now tend to spend a lot of their time in a restricted space such as in your house or garden. In the past they might have been let out to roam the neighbourhood in the morning or gone to work with their owner and they didn't need to go for a walk because their day was already very busy doing doggy things at other times. But as our lives have changed, so have the lives of our dogs. And the twice daily walk is now almost accepted practice and recommendation to owners. So what does a walk offer your dog? It gives them the opportunity to toilet. I think that is, of course, key, the chance to get out and toilet. It gives them exercise. It might give them an opportunity to play depending on where you go and they get new experiences. Same as with us, it's kind of boring to spend all day looking at the same four walls. The same for them, it gets them out into a new environment, different smells and sniffs. It gives them social interaction with other dogs, whether they meet those dogs in person or they can just sniff the messages left by those dogs that were in that space through the scent that they've left through marking. It also gives them mental stimulation. It can be the, the bright point in their day that they look forward to. I know mine are always very enthusiastic to go for their walk. But sometimes it isn't possible or wise to walk your dog. Maybe they're recovering from an injury or from surgery. Perhaps they're scared of people. Maybe they're reactive to other dogs or perhaps they're older and it's just not feasible for them to walk as much as they used to do to get their exercise and other stimulation in that way anymore. Or maybe you are living somewhere or staying somewhere temporarily where it's not practical to walk for some reason or other. Maybe you'd need to go out at night in the dark and it's not safe or not good for your dog. But whatever the reason, we can think about what we can do instead. So having thought about what it is that the walk does, the purpose it serves for your dog, we can think about alternative ways to address those needs. Toileting, of course, is going to have to happen on a daily basis. So hopefully they can toilet in the garden. But if that isn't happening, you might want to pop out to the nearest piece of grass. I do find having grass under their feet or a softer surface encourages them to want to toilet. And if all else fails, you might need puppy pads in the corner of a room if you really can't get out at all. So that is perhaps the trickiest one to address if you can't take the dog out for a walk at all. Physical activity could be achieved through playing at home, either with people or with toys. Or if you have a dog that struggles with outside because of the things they might meet when they're there, then perhaps hiring a secure field would be an option. So you could take them there and just walk or play and give them time out to explore that environment without the risk of bumping into bicycles or push chairs or lorries or other dogs or whatever it is that upsets them on a normal walk. We can also bring new experiences by bringing the outside in for our dog to explore in the safety of our home. So you might go out yourself and collect up leaves or branches or animal fur or hay or soil or whatever it is they might like to investigate and bring that home. I find when I've been down to the kennels, mine have a smorgasbord of sniffing when I come back and I have to stand while they investigate me and check out all the smells that I've brought home on my clothing just by being near the other dogs. So this is another way to bring another world in for them to bring new experiences. If they enjoy travelling in the car, you could take them out for a drive. And if you have the window open a little bit, of course, the scents will come in. And you might even park up somewhere and give them the opportunity to watch, to sniff and check out the world in that way. Hello, Maggie. You've been barking. That can be nice for an elderly dog, I think, to just go somewhere and sit and watch the world go by, getting the opportunity to get the experience without having to do too much exercise that might upset them. 
Now, in terms of social interactions, if your dog likes other dogs, then you could have play dates with other dogs or you could go on group walks, perhaps organized by a charity or a breed group. If they don't like other dogs or feel awkward about it, then it may be that you can bring the scent of other dogs into your house, such as, as just said, happened when I come back from the kennels. If your dog finds that interesting, they also get a type of social interaction by sniffing other places that dogs have been. So grass that other dogs have been walking on, bushes other dogs have sniffed and so on. So you can give them the ability to interact with other dogs in some way or other, even if having another dog there is not an option. And of course, mental stimulation is a big part of what they get out of going for a walk, separate to the physical activity. And you could address this one by getting enrichment games, either ones you can buy or ones that you make at home. And I've done a couple of videos that talk about these. You might want to check those out. You could use part of their daily ration of food to use in a more creative way for them to find through scatter feeding or incorporating it into treat dispensing toys so that it makes things a bit more stimulating, more of a challenge for them to get that food rather than just being literally handed it on a plate or in a bowl. So just a few small challenges in the day can add in mental stimulation and help prevent them from getting bored. I hope you found that useful. We'll be back again soon with more tips for you. Bye for now. Look out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.